Good morning rock painters and welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Uh, today I'm going to do a little black and white stripe and a daisy design. So I've already just put one coat of white Posca pen on the rock already and now I'm just going to go around and put the other colours and do one layer as well. So here I've got the yellow. Out of all the paint colours uh, I've got the light and the dark shade. So I've got the light and dark in a, in a green shape and I've got the same in pink. So on both of them I'm going to do the yellow middles and then I will colour in the flowers the lighter colour and I will shade it with the, the deeper shade. And uh, you'll find that out of all the colour paint that you have that white and yellow will probably be the two colours you have the most problem with I know with paint pens and a lot of people also say the same with their acrylic paint and it just depends on the amount of pigment that you have uh, in the brand that you're using as well as making sure that it's mixed really well okay so I'm going to use the light pink on this flower with a darker pink shading so I wanted to do one layer of the white stripes so that you could see it dry here and that's the expectation that you should have from uh, the, a good quality acrylic paint pen. It should look like this just by using the technique that I'm using which is just a nice thin light lay layer. Exactly what I'm doing here with my pink pen is all I've done with the white. So if you're not getting that thin even layer with your paint pen then I recommend you just keep shaking it up. You can even give it a little uh, tap on the edge of the table to budge any pigment and really give it a good shake. So I'm not going too fussy with the black I just like to colour in the bigger and then I'll come in closer to the edges and I'll just do the stripes in black which I won't bore you that's all one shade and here it all is done with the two shades. So exactly what I did with that one light layer here I just got my water and paintbrush. I'm going to sh uh, show you some shading. So yeah, I did the one layer and then I just came over it with another even light layer to get this look. So now I'm shading. I'm just dipped my brush in the water, wiped a bit off my onto my microfiber cloth at the top of my mat, and I'm touching it onto the top of my paint pen and just taking off enough color there to smush it around for some shading. It was a little bit too wet. Just wipe it off onto your microfiber. If you want a little bit more you can take your pen straight onto the rock and fill in the darker areas. Okay so I'm just wiping that brush flat at the top there getting any excess water. Oh, see what I did there? I tried wiping it and it was too wet and paint, wet paint will lift wet paint, will lift the dry paint underneath it. So here I'm just going to tap a little bit more paint on it. Let's put a little bit more of the lighter in there and just blend the edges really carefully together. So you can see you don't want to overdo it when you take it um, take your wet paint on, to, on top because you can see how I just pulled a bit of it off. So I'm just going to lightly smush some of that pink around. I'm just going to keep shading out like that. I have this little one, I'm going to call it Daisy, this rock, when my uh, eldest girl, I don't know how old she is now, she's probably like 28 or something, I don't know, when she was little, she was about three or four, and um, the little cousins couldn't say her name, and uh, they couldn't pronounce her name properly, and we went to a christening or some fa family gathering when she was little. And she had this gorgeous little black and white dress with these huge yellow daisies all over it. And uh, when she walked in, everyone said hello and called out her name. But her little cousin just couldn't say it. And he was saying, hey, hey. And then all of a sudden he went, Daisy. And uh, ever since then, that's been her nickname. We've always just called her Daisy. So this rock's really cute. Reminds me of when she was little. Alright, so you can see there we've just got the shading that we've smushed around and we just grab 
a black pen now and start doing all the outlines onto the rock or around the images I should say okay just keep going around Yeah, when I'm doing these little dots as decoration, I'm not pushing the nib of my pen in. I'm just touching on any ink that's caught onto the end of the tip. If you were to sort of push those dots and push the nib in, uh, it will release the paint out of the barrel because that's what it's designed to do. When you push that nib in, it's designed to release like a little bit of a safety valve that's inside that stops you know it keeps the paint up in the paint barrel to keep it fresh and uh, yeah if you every time you push it in the paint is going to flood out and uh, we had a lady really worried the other day because she said oh, every time I push my pen it just um, all this paint floods out and that's what a paint pens meant to do so you really don't want to keep pushing it in all the time uh, if you're using it if you find it the paints not flowing out easily then you've probably just got a dirty nib and if you just pop over to the website we've got a um, quite a few tutorials that show you how to clean that nib and get it flowing again but you don't have to keep pushing it in all the time to get it to work properly so here I'm just straightening up the black lines not that that's working very well but anyway near enough I'm an ish person so straight ish is a-ok -okay in my books okay let's keep going uh, the only thing is I want to add an extra little <coughs> excuse me I really need a cup of tea um, adding in another little black stripe onto my design so I'm just going to look for a playing card or a plastic ruler let's see what I've got okay there we go we've got a playing card the paints dry so I'll just show you uh, because the playing card is flexible see how it molds around the edge of the rock so you can use it as a ruler oh, that's not the angle my pen wants to work at and you can just rule that line there okay and pull it away didn't even hold it on straight so it's now a crooked straight line but just keep going around <clears throat> with your with your pen and that's how I rule lines if I had to onto my rock so you can see here I've I've got my straight ish lines that aren't really straight at all I'm just going to add a few white highlights in now onto my rock and I'm going to call it done call it my daisy rock okay then I'm going to head out of here and go grab that cup of tea. A few more dots and dashes, I think. Let's write a little word on it. Let's go. And let's shine. So come and show me your daisy rocks, everyone. Join us over on Facebook where you can show off your designs. And that's over at Reef Rocks Free Workshops in our Facebook group. Can't wait to see you there today.